There's that meme, or you can even get a t-shirt that says the cloud is just someone else's computer. But uh, cloud can mean different things to different people. How do we define cloud? How do you define cloud, Rick? Wow, that's a tough one. Um, you know, cloud can be, so we, we sort of break them into two different categories. We, we think of public cloud. There are, there's multiple pu public clouds, but when we, when we talk about public cloud, we're really thinking about AWS, Azure, and Google. So that's who we really can really feel are the, are the big public cloud vendors. And then you have private clouds, right? There's, there's dozens and dozens of, of private clouds that can be hosted on your own premise. They could be ho hosted in a, in a, in a co-location. And you know the way we look at private clouds is they're really using the same or very similar cloud technology that the publics are using. The real difference is you have to manage them yourself. So you need to have your staff, you need to have your IT teams, you need to back things up, you need to make things sure things are built for scale. So it's really customer premise, a uh, customer premise, customer um, you know decision in terms of what they want to use. You know some of them could be security reasons, some of them could be um, interested in more of a fixed price versus something that's a, a scalable price. So, so, so we, we really put them in those two buckets. All right. Anyone uh, have any other definitions they want to add in? Michael. Uh, yeah. I, I would just say that, you know, one of the key, I think, differentiators with cloud versus just any other virtualized infrastructure that we work on is, um, you know, the automation and the, the dynamic nature of it to be able to, you know, spin up, spin down. Uh, you know, I think we, we have a lot of uh, fixed install VM environments where we could probably achieve some of that same kind of, you know, software defined uh, environment. But, um, you know, that, that environment is something that uh, we're on the hook for, you know, we pay for it. And so I think that the consumption nature of, of cloud is kind of the really defining factor for us and why, why we're in it. I would agree definitely on, on the amount of times that we've had uh, larger events that we are, are supporting, like for Zoom meetings, uh, multiple, multiple Zoom meetings, like uh, when just recently we had over 100 different meetings running. I couldn't go to Best Buy and, or even call Dell and say, I need 100 computers next week. I, I could do that with cloud, though, and it's a beautiful thing for us. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things that we're primarily focusing on right now is actually using <clears throat> cloud and, and the idea of hybrid to actually extend our physical footprint and our production studios today because we are not going to grow into more real estate right we're not gonna you know <clears throat> turn around a uh, budget next year and build you know 15 more production control rooms that's just not something that i think that a lot of people are, are doing from a budgetary perspective anymore so cloud has really allowed us to change the focus of where we spend our money, how we focus those dollars in a, in a much more optimized and efficient manner to get the, the best um, kind of product we can to air. 